We're going to take a look at EasyTemp, which is one of the easiest and most affordable ways to do data collection. We are going to be using a TI graphing calculator. This is a TI-84 plus Silver Edition calculator, and this is an EasyTemp temperature probe. It has a USB connector. It's a, a, a mini USB uh, connector that will plug straight into the graphing calculator. Now, currently, the calculator is off. All I have to do is plug the easy temp into the calculator. It uh, wakes the calculator up. It launches the data collection application. It identifies that a temperature probe is plugged in. And then I have a screen that shows me the uh, current reading from the temperature probe. In this case, it's, it's around 24 degrees C. Uh, when we plug the sensor in, it automatically uh, sets up a data collection that is uh, pretty common for the types of experiments that you'll want to do. And in this case, with the temperature probe, it's a default three-minute experiment. Now, that can easily be changed if we need to. But for most things in, uh, in high school science or middle school science, uh, three minutes is, is sufficient to do the data collection. So all I have to do is um, uh, press the Start button. Choose this right here. And as soon as I do that, I get a graph uh, that, that shows me the, the current data points. In the upper right-hand corner, I see a digital display. You can see the data points on the left-hand side of the screen. Take the temperature probe and plug it or uh, put it into uh, some hot water. We'll see the temperature rise. We'll let it run for just a little bit to, until it starts to stabilize and come to equilibrium with the, the water and, and find out what the temperature of the water is on. And there we are at about 35 and a half degrees. Now let's see how it responds when I put it into cold water. Uh, the other beaker is uh, some ice water, or a little bit above ice uh, temperature. And we'll just move it over into that. And when we do that, we're going to see the temperature start to drop very rapidly. We can get an, an indication of uh, the response time of the probe. And there we are down to about oh, eight seconds. Now, I mentioned it was a three-minute experiment. What we might want to do is let it run for the three minutes. But in this case, we're just interested in the, the temperature of this water. And it's stabilizing at around six and a half degrees. So uh, uh, I, I've determined the temperatures I want to determine. I'm going to stop the experiment early instead of running for three minutes. I'll press the Stop button. It autographs the, the, the scale. I'm in what's called the trace mode. At this point, I can go ahead and press the right arrow and trace across the data points. And you can see, there we are. We can see each data pair. The time is x and the temperature is y. And we can just, if we want to, hold it down and let it scroll to the end. And there we are around six and a half degrees. We're at the, uh, on the graph screen, uh, in the graph screen, we have access to uh, uh, analysis options. I can choose this analyze menu, and you can see there are some options there for analysis. We may, we'll look at that at, at another time. Uh, to return to the main screen, I just choose the main option. There we are back at the main screen. If I wanted to redisplay the graph, I would just press the, the graph option. And there's my graph, and we're back to that previous screen. Choose main again. And um, we're, if we're done with the experiment, let's choose quit. When we choose quit, it tells us where the data is stored on the calculator. That's an important screen. And then I choose OK, and I'm done. So we've collected some data with the graphing calculator. You've seen how easy it is to use the, the easy temp temperature probe. This is just one example of a type of experiment you could perform. Again, it's a very, very versatile sensor, and it can be used throughout your science or math curriculum.